San Francisco, one of the most beautiful cities in the United States, blessed with its legendary setting and steep hills. So it's no accident that for several years now, the city has been host to a highly original sport, street luge. Organizer Tom Mason has added a few new features to the concept. What we did is I made it an unlimited paddle at the top. So the guys are charging into the ramp at least five miles an hour faster. I put a ramp all the way across the street for racing this year to give a guy a 20-foot kicker, six men wide in the racing. And then the big air ramp stepped up another inch to a full six inches that will catapult the guys close to 100 feet this year. The competition brings together the top 48 luges in the world. The street luges, which look a little like Formula One skateboards, rapidly reach excessive speeds, especially given that they're running mainly on hot asphalt. Leather suits, gloves and helmets are more than style accessories. The luges line up for three separate events, the six-man race, the three-man race and the big air. The six-man race. The main thing here is not to get squeezed out, but to maintain as straight a line as possible. Luckily, the hay bales are never far away. Mostly, though, the most difficult obstacle to tackle is the springboard, right in the middle of the track, at the fastest point, of course. finish, Lee Dancy snatches victory away from Californian Chris Chappard. He admits to having been a little surprised by the new course. What we're used to is down hills that don't send us back in the air yet, so for, for, for what we're doing here, San Francisco is probably the most perfect place on the planet to be doing what we're doing here, which is taking our sport to a new level. The four-man race. Less traffic on the track, so a little more speed. But rule number one is still the same. Whatever your style, the first man over the line wins. Second in the six-man race, Chris Chappard takes the four-man final. But as he and his French friend Manu Atuna confirm, winning isn't the only motivation. Chris oh my God, I am so excited! This is big. This is like not the race that people, you know, set out to win. The winning's always good. It's always fun. Street luge and stand-up. Street luge and stand-up are just an excuse to get together all over the world for partying. It doesn't really matter if you win or lose. Peu importe à la limite si on est premier ou dernier. The thrilling, spectacular Big Air event. The best has been kept till the end, and you'll soon see why. Launching off from the top of the track, the lugers don't have much trouble taking off, but their rather brutal landing often leaves a lot to be desired. Record holder is professional luger Jeff Schoenzeit with a jump of 83 feet, almost 28 meters. Chris Chappard launches off and reaches 86 feet, one meter further than the previous record, thrilling the public with a perilous landing and finishing on his stomach. But there's still one competitor left. At his final attempt, legendary American skateboarder Waldo Autry performs the perfect jump. And everybody agrees, since he smashed Chappard's record with a jump of 94 feet, almost 32 meters. But what was he thinking at the time? Chris Chappard, 86 feet, our winner, Waldo Archer! Nobody got the first one, um, what, what should I, what should I, been, I don't know, I was thinking, um, uh, I was thinking I was flying pretty good all day, let's just throw it to the wind, you know? The world skateboarders can sleep easy. Waldo Autry's not ready to hang up his board quite yet. <laughs> <laughs>